In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the ignition lock cylinder on a 1999 Chevy Silverado. First thing we're going to do is disconnect the negative battery cable. In order to get the ignition lock cylinder out, we've got to take the panels off of the steering column. Underneath your steering column, you've got a couple of T20 Torx bit screws. Next, we're going to pull the tilt shift lever out. Now the column panels should just unsnap apart. Underneath the top panel, and right next to your ignition lock cylinder, is a small bolt with the head that looks like a Torx bit. A 4 millimeter socket will get that off. Here's the reason why I'm changing my ignition lock cylinder. I put my key in and I can't turn it. As you can see, there's this little pin right here. There are um, little indentions on the inside of this ignition lock cylinder that help put the car in the uh, run position and then the crank position. Um, if you look closely, you can see that pin move and lock into place there. The trouble is this thing has worn out to where the pin can't get out freely after uh, 16 years of starting this thing's finally worn out. Now I know how to wiggle this thing just right to get it to engage so you may think well this is a good security security feature of this truck. Uh, somebody steals my keys and try to steal my truck they well, they can't start it because they don't know how to turn the ignition. So that may not be a problem for you, but for me, uh, I have in-laws that borrow the truck from time to time, and my wife drives this occasionally, and it's a pain for them. So we're going to change this lock cylinder. All right, so how do we get this thing out of the ignition? Well, turn the key to the on position and there's this hole right here that you want to stick something small in there that can reach in there and there's a little pin that you're going to push and this thing will eventually work its way out. There we go. You're basically pushing this down, this little locking thing right there. So as you're going through there you're pushing this down and this slides right out. All right, here's the little gaps that I'm talking well, about. Well, over the years, this thing has really worn out, and that pin is not able to freely move in and out of that gap. So that's what's causing this thing to hang up. So I could probably lube that up really good with some grease and probably um, temporarily fix this problem, but I'm going to fix it permanently, so we're just going to replace this. All right, there's the pins that I'm talking about that, that ride in that groove of the ignition lock cylinder. All right, take your new ignition cylinder and line it up with the tabs. There's only one way it can go in. Just line that thing up, wiggle it a little bit, and it slides right in. Now this comes with a new set of keys, so i got to keep my other key if I want to get into my doors, but uh, no big deal. I'm just glad i got an ignition, not, ignition lock cylinder that works. All right, we'll just put the covers back on connect the battery cable, and we'll be done.